Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis. This is the Open Air Theatre in Regent's Park, and I'm here to see Evita. Okay, so Evita at the Open Air Theatre in Regent's Park. Yes, I'm okay, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Paul Lewis does the reviews. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. What did you think of it? Well, I was thinking it was pretty good. I was enjoying it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, no, I really loved it. I loved the dancing and sort of the spectacle of it, but I didn't feel like I had that emotional connection, you know, with the characters as much. Uh -huh. So yeah. yeah, yeah, but that really, I thought they were very good uh, performances in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what would you give it if you? Oh, I'm, I'm toying between a three and a four, but I think because of the emotional connection, I'm going to go three. Okay. But it'll be interesting to see what you think. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I think that's the minute up. Well, that was sort of my one minute review of Evita. Keep watching for a longer version of what I have to say about Evita at the Open Air Theatre. Evita by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber, directed by Jamie Lloyd at the Open Air Theatre in Regent's Park, London. This production, directed by Jamie Lloyd, has a set by Sutra Gilmore. You're presented with something that looks very much like bleachers or maybe a staircase that goes right up, high up at the back of the stage. At the bottom of this staircase, perhaps symbolically, is Eva. At first we see her with her colleagues, other showgirls, um, who clearly also are, well let me put it this way, they're wearing short skirts and sit with their legs wide open. In the course of the evening we see her ruthlessly sleep her way to the top where she eventually marries Juan Perón and helps him become president of Argentina before she contracts cancer and dies. The music is great. I admit, I'm not a big Andrew Lloyd Webber fan, but I think this is by far the best music he's done. Uh, there's this mixture of pastiches of Latin American uh, music, uh, in particular a lovely tango, Argentine tango that happens at one point. And then of course the big famous songs, uh, Don't Cry For Me Argentina, uh, Another Suitcase in Another Hall, which is very well done by uh, Francis Maley McCann, and what a circus. And just as the musical is sung through, Jamie Lloyd's made a decision to have it danced through. So there is, in other words, a lot of dance. And on the whole, it works very well. And the tiered uh, staging mostly is very effective. It, it limits the dancing sometimes, but of course it creates this uh, almost wall of dancers at some times, which is very spectacular uh, for a stage which frankly has very little set. The leads are excellent. Uh, Trent Saunders as the narrator, Che, uh, is powerful. Uh, he not only tells us what's going on, often in a very cynical way, until he gets, like everybody else, drawn in by the, the magic of Evita. But it also acts as a conscience to Eva, who is played by Samantha Pawley. She is suitably young and feels alive. She wears her little slip dress. She's um, got trainers. Uh, she smiles. She has a great voice. Uh, the only thing I would say is missing perhaps from her portrayal is that we never quite see on her face the ruthlessness, uh, the ruthless ambition uh, that she clearly possesses, although we certainly see it in action. One problem that I felt arose from deciding to make this very much a dance show was that the cast needed to be young and energetic, uh, and they certainly are. Uh, there are a number of occasions when the men are uh, in there are bare chested or the women are wearing fairly skimpy clothes. It's pretty young and sexy. But Perron is meant to be an older and not particularly attractive guy who's made attractive by Ava. In other words, it's a bit like 
Lady Diana and Prince Charles or Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. She's the one who comes across, because she is a poor person made good, she really appeals to the poor people of Argentina, even though, as it turns out, her husband's robbing the country blind. I didn't think that quite worked because, good as he is, Hector Rivera is just too young, and he has to be young because he has to be on the same sort of age level as all the other military leaders. The narrator is a Brechtian device to keep you um, thinking about the story and not getting too involved in the characters. I, I don't find this works that well, but of course there's all that great music and in this case a lot of great dancing as well. I give Evita at the Open Air Theatre three stars. I hope you've enjoyed watching this review and want to see more and you can get to hear as soon as I post one by subscribing to my YouTube channel One Minute Theatre Reviews and if you want to read more about what I have to say about these shows then go to my website one minute theatre reviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.